The state divided not by politics, this time between the rivalry of two major universities, the big two. It was recently announced that the Lone Star Showdown between the University of Texas and Texas A&M is coming back to the football field next season when Texas joins the SEC. That's in 2024. We've also got a station divided here at KVU. For those of you who don't know, Yvonne is a Longhorn. Eric Pointer is an Aggie. And they're just addressing you as if you couldn't tell right there. The two, they're getting along, no, all smiles. Eric, how are people feeling about the return of this matchup, though? You know, Rob, it's been 12 years since our schools played each mm -hmm. other. And I was actually at that last game, and I was wearing this jersey. So this is like a throwback, even. Like, you can tell it's worn out. I've worn it. But, Yvonne, I've been talking to people about this game. I talked to Longhorns. I talked to Aggies. And everyone is excited about the return to this. I mean, it's a big game. Yeah, it's going to be a big deal, which we're all excited about. But as to who's going to win, though, oh. that's still a toss-up. A little friendly competition between UT and A&M can be found anywhere from cornhole to the football field. Brandon Stewart's familiar. He was a quarterback for A&M in 1996, 97, and 98. And he says the UT games were off the hook. I mean, they were crazy, right? I mean, everyone was so excited. That's kind of like what you lived for the entire season was to play that game. He won some hardware while he was there. This was the year before that. But that's pretty awesome. He says there was just something special about that Thanksgiving game against UT especially when they were the home team at Kyle Field. There's kind of a roar that just never stops, and they just turns it up a notch. Here it is. For that game. Hey, let's go! But the last time the teams played each other, yes. oh, good shot. UT shut the roar down. The Longhorns pulled an upset with a last-minute field goal and won the game by two points. And the moment was just surreal. Former UT running back Vazi Whitaker was there. We stormed the field. I did, and I was crutching. Silk cheering on his team. And then ultimately, he nails the kick. And it, it was just like a dagger in, in Kyle Field, man. It was one of those things where I've never heard that stadium that quiet before. Boom. Megan Grigsby was also at that game. It was really fun. I mean, there was so much... Oh my gosh, it was high drama. Starting off strong. The 06 UT alum says she's only missed eight <laughs> home games since she was born. Nice. But she's always been around Aggies. You had kids that were big A&M fans, and then I'm this huge Texas fan. So there was always that good natured ribbing. She's looking forward to loading up you, per UT themed ride and heading down to College Station for the game next year. There's been a lot of trash talk. We've all been, you know, but with no way to prove it. No way to say who's the best. So I'm just looking forward to being on the field and putting the money where the mouth is. The throwback memories go even further for Larry Bloomquist. There's this always this rivalry between your neighbors, your friends, your old high school classmates and coworkers and whatnot. It's just pretty intense. Since 1975, Larry's been to every UT A&M game except for two. Living in Austin, surrounded by Longhorns, he can't wait for them to come back so he can continue his streak. I've just got a lot of close friends and, you know, have a lot of respect. Now I want to beat them every time. And I'm excited about this new rivalry kind of coming back. Competition aside, Longhorns and Aggies both agree the SEC sunk it in the hole by bringing back the Lone Star rivalry. That's it. We're solid. We can wrap it up. Okay, so no official date has been set yet, but we do know that it's returning the football season of 2024. But Yvonne, I uh, brought the cornhole out so we could play. We have to do a rematch from the last oh, yeah. hour. Oh so yeah, rematch. I'll, rematch. I'll let you go first. It's on Eric Pointer. <laughs> Hold on, ready. Uh, darn, I always go too too All far right. the first time. Uh. Oh, okay. Ooh. 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 Oh, oh, you came to play this hour. I know. Oh my god. So did I. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> like, we're kind of even until the very end. Nice. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Eric. So it was fun. You know, I, I can't believe we still get along, right? Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. <laughs> it's, it's a fun rivalry. Good ribbon, but it's all yes. about it's all about that that good nature, that fun. Sportsmanship. And the game, I cannot wait. It's just going to be yeah. it's going to be electric. I can it's just be loud. feel it. Yes. Yes. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. It's all smiles until the camera goes off and they start fighting Ooh, for each other. No, the smiles are going to stay. <laughs> Rob says it's all smiles until the cameras go off. No, it's still no, going to be smiles. No, no. It still smiles with us. <laughs> neck and neck. Can we start doing this every Friday? I, I love this. Yeah. And I think the game, the football game is probably going to be as intense as that cornhole match. Probably even more, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I dare say. But I'd love to see them duke it out at the football game, too. <laughs>